Did you ever wonder what happens after the game ends? Shoot, I'm late for dinner. Welcome to the other side. Just nice to be out of the house. Uh, uh, Rip. Sam. <laughs> I wanted to talk to you about this side hedge. City code says six feet. You know, it's obstructing my visibility when I'm backing the wagon out. And it's making us a lot more vulnerable to sneak attacks. That's kind of freaking out Dark Princess. Hey, Dark Princess, how are you? Exhausted. <laughs> the baby was up all night. <laughs> I'll have Billy trim the head. Ha <laughs> ha. Sorry, Rip. Honey, the Kung Fu monks are fighting again. I know, babe. Mwah. Yo, what are you up to, Daddy? Why does our son sound like that? Billy, honey, when you speak, it confuses your father. <sighs> Raquel. Didn't we talk about leaving laser cannons around the house? Didn't you say you were going to fix the oven so I could defrost the turkey? Hmm. Can we eat, or do you want me to be anorexic like those anime basket cases? Fine. <laughs> Din Din. Hmm. What's he doing now? Billy's friends page him with up-to-the-minute fashion trends. Well, it just looks like he's taking his pants off to me. Yo. I can see his Johnson. Billy, Daddy can see your Johnson. Ha! What's with him? Why has he been acting so weird recently? It's a confusing time. He doesn't know whether to hang out with the jocks, the nerds, or the evil monkeys from Donkey Kong. Talk with him, Rip. So, Billy, how's the game assignment process going? Still want to be a race car driver like your old man? Ha, oh, get real. I either want to be a doom soldier or one of those guys in the medieval district who eat squab all day. You know, Billy, your father rides daily in the Grand Prix. A lot of people find that pretty glamorous. God, when's the last time you did a full lap without blowing up? October! Hello, Dr. Zed. Right. I understand. Rip, you don't mind taking the kids to the mall yourself, do you? That was my boss. We've got to lead on the Emerald Monkey. I can't that wait till right before we make love, like it usually does. Inside, I'm vomiting. <gasps> hey, that's what I should call my autobiography. Oh, by the way, they need back to school clothes. Hi, where did the summer go? Mom, I told you, I can't go with Dad. Honey, honey, now that I'm back at work full time, we all have to be a little more flexible. You at the mall! I'll be back by 10. I love you! How long is this whole shopping thing gonna take? How long? Not long. For math, I need a Robin Hood hat, a buckskin belt, an iPod, and... <laughs> and a skateboard, okay? No. What do you need, Alice? Ugh, I don't need anything. Great! Let's hit the food court. We just ate dinner. Corn dogs it is. <laughs> what is this, Vice City? <laughs> Go 
for Agent Smash and Burn. Hi, Mom. Hi, honey. I can't hear you. And neither can the farting story monsters. Tell me about it. So is Dad getting everything you need? Need? I need you to come to the mall right now. Alice, I have to grab the tablet, make my way back to the labyrinth, and bag some mummy loot, okay? Um, those natives have a right to their cultural heritage. Okay, Alice, I'm losing ya. Mom! Mom! I guess you can't have too many corn dogs. <laughs> Alice, last chance. You uh really don't need anything? Okay. You really want to know? I need to buy my first bra, Dad. Oh, jeez. How about this little number? It's uh it's great. It's great. Isn't that Alice? Yeah, and she's bra shopping with her dad. Alice is bra shopping with her dad. Alice is bra shopping with her dad. Ha! Ah, Alice is bra shopping with her dad. Whoops. Maybe you should do this another time with your mother. But I'm going on a date with Chad tomorrow. So? So, it's my first date ever. Actually, no, it's not, princess. Because any date that you need new underwear for is not a date you're going on. <laughs> Raquel. Mm, I was just having the strangest dream. Not this time. Whoa! I'm a little late. Sorry. Raquel, I'm a man. I drive in circles all day. That is when I'm not catching on fire. When I come home, all I want is a cup of tea. But instead, you know what I get? Yummy turkey? No. Kicked in the face by our passive-aggressive Shaolin monk neighbors, mysterious utterances from a boy claiming to be my son Billy, a wife obsessed with finding a golden monkey. Emerald, babe. The gold one's over there. And a daughter who needed a bra and no mom to buy it with. Oh, she told me she needed me. I feel so guilty. Maybe going back to work full time is a mistake. This family made perfect sense until Alice turned 13. And then what does Billy do? He goes and turns 13! It's gonna be okay. We just need something to bond over. Got it. A pet. It'll bring the whole family closer. Give us something we can all do together. And you don't need a bra to love a pet. And it'll die before it turns 13. I hate pets! I hate them more! Too bad. Yes, Dr. Zed, the thing is I'm kind of in the middle of a family- Bailing on us again? Quote, unquote, mom? I'm not bailing. It's just that they have a very solid lead on the Emerald Monkey. <coughs> oh, crap. Well, I'll take your minivan. It'll be easier to hold the pet in. It'll be fine. We'll all bond later. Where's Nuts? Where's Nuts? Oh, this one's purring at me. Look over here at this furry fella. This one loves me! That is the cutest pet in the world ever. I hate it. And me. And you. I'm Billy. I'm your new papa. Oh, I can't help it. I want to lick his face off. Wow, this pet trick is actually working. What do you kids think we should name him? Oh, I've always liked the name Nike. Or, stay with me, Peterson's down home clam dip. I want to name him after Grandpa. Thomas! Thomas. <clears throat> Thomas? Let me tell you something about Thomas. He's a kleptomaniac. He's also a she and lactose intolerant. And in a KKK. Uh? I'm Turbo. Turbo? Ha! <laughs> You're pushing 300 pounds. I've got a thyroid condition, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that funny? Step into this cage and I'll be pushing your head through the concrete. <laughs> so, when do we sign the papers? We've, uh, found our pet, thanks. He had sex with the green one this morning. He did things. Unchristian things. I don't like you, Turbo. 
kids, let's bring the car around. We're getting Thomas! Yay, Thomas! Huh? Oh, my. Oh, that's the radio. What is that there? Hmm. Huh? Don't you drive cars for a living, Dad? Shut up. Uh, not that one. It's so obvious. Thomas! No! <coughs> uh? <coughs> Look, it's the jerk pet. We're not taking you. You don't have to. I'm I'm just a pet. And a witness with the camera. Say cheese, a hole. <laughs> Shotgun. Good news, everybody. We got a pet. <laughs> As promised, the pet is bringing the smash and burns back together. <laughs> hey, Rip. Sam. Feel free to get off my car any time. You know, according to city code, a pet's not allowed outside without a leash. That is why we keep ours on a tight... <laughs> ...leash. <clears throat> Sweet! One more and I get a free sub. Delays home early. I think we need another baking soda in here. That was the first day of school. Damn, I knew I was supposed to do something today. I know. You dig in my shades. All the coolest people are wearing them. Did you just say you didn't go to school? Which one of you lucky sons of bees is taking Turbo for a walk? I'll get this one. Go walk, Turbo! Put your hand in your pocket and stick out a finger. You'll go far. Gee, thanks, Turbo. I always wanted a fur coat. Uh-huh. You want to pick up the pace a little, air Sparky? Mom, tomorrow I'll be at school late. Um, I want to check out the clubs. Okay, sounds good. And I'll probably just go straight from there to my date with Chad. Okay, see ya. Alice, your dad said no. He wouldn't have if you kept your word and been at the mall when you were supposed to be. That's not fair, Alice. Uh, not fair? To whom? Nice use of whom, honey. That is superb. Hi, Soapy. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, Chad, but my parents don't trust me! Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, girl, what's the alarm code? One, two, three, four. <sighs> I know. You feeling sad, huh? You want a cigar? Yeah, why not? I can break a 20. Turbo, what do you do when someone's getting in your way? I kick them in the crotch. Then, when they keel over, I knead them in the face. Ooh. This is assuming you don't have a broken bottle, right? That's pretty brutal. Well, it gets their attention, and that's what counts. You gonna smoke that, Copernicus? Nah. That a girl. Another awesome lap for Rip Smash and Burn, who, going into the final lap, is actually, could it be, in the lead? Come on, baby. Come on, baby, one more lap. What are you doing? I'm in the middle of a race! You wanna pop the trunk? What? I said pop it, my friend. Bingo! Book him!
consecration of the sacred burial places of the indigenous inhabitants. When do we want it? Now! Every day I go into booby trap ruins looking for stuff like this. <laughs> Nothing compares to the horror of walking out of a pyramid and seeing your own daughter picketing you. It was humiliating. <sighs> well, I wish I'd known. I could have been more sympathetic from jail. <laughs> it's a disaster. I know this pet was supposed to bring us closer together, but I say we cut our losses and get back to the crappy old days. I'll take out Turbo. Smash and burns don't kill pets. You blew up a whole building of- On purpose! Smash and burns don't kill pets on purpose. We need to get rid of him. We'll compromise. So, you guys are night picnic people? I can't remember the last time the four of us went anywhere together. What are you talking about? We come here all the time. This place is super fun. Who wants ice cream? I do. Me too. Sounds good to me. <gasps> Guys, I don't mean to break balls, but there's nothing in a picnic basket. Dad, what the hell is going on? Kids, your mother and I have a confession. I'm not gay. We know that, honey, and actually, you would have to tell us that for it to be a confession. Oh. Kids, Turbo has outgrown city life. The thing is, we all love having Turbo, don't we? He's the best. But we can't be selfish. Mm -hmm. Turbo does not like other pets. He deserves to live free in his natural habitat, away from the things of man. Natural habitat? Hey, crackhead, I've never been here before in my life. Think fast, fatty. Chum! Damn. See, his friends have all come to greet him. Welcome home, buddy. I'm so ah! sick of you guys. You trust Turbo to fend for himself in this toxic waste dump, but you won't trust me enough to go out with Chad. I envy you, Turbo. I'm like a monk. I'm like a monk. I'm a regular monk. Mom, do you trust me or not? We do trust you, Alice. We do? It's just hard for us to see you becoming a young woman. It's all happening so quickly. Just because I want a nice bra doesn't mean Chad is going to see it. Promise? Because I'll run his ass over. Promise. Because I'll run his ass over! I heard you! You did? Yeah. Come on, let's go. About Turbo. We're leaving Turbo here. Away from the things of man. Remember? Turbo? Here? No! I know he's lazy and he steals stuff and he has a drinking problem, but he's not really house trained yet, and, th and that'll be my job. Okay, Dad. I don't know, Billy. That thing's been nothing but trouble. Little help! Little help! All right. All right. Honey, are you okay with this? I'll go get him. Oh, yay, Turbo! Worst picnic ever. So I'm surrounded by all those scrabs and slogs. It seemed like all was lost. Then I had an idea. Use their strengths against them. Keto. Hey, hey! Hey, hey! Dance party! Go, Turbo! Hey, hey. It's your birthday! Oh, hey. It's your birthday! Come, oh, Turbo! Yeah, Turbo! You know, we really are terrific parents. Yeah, baby! In a funny way, that pet did bring us all closer together. <laughs> <laughs>